Welcome to this LabVault tutorial about the four quadrant chopper. Let's first open the chopper inverter control application by left clicking here. When the new window is open, go under function selection to choose the function you want to use in the list. Now that four quadrant chopper is selected, go to function settings just here to take a look at the customizable features of this function. Switching frequency up to 20,000 Hz. Command input, knob or analog input 1. Duty cycle. Acceleration and deceleration time for smoother command variation. Q1, Q4, Q2, and Q5, the switching transistors. You can choose PWM or always on or off for troubleshooting. Status indicates if the function is started or not. There are also the two knobs here to adjust duty cycle and frequency. And finally, the start-stop button to control the function. Also, here you have the electrical diagram of the function and the show connection button to help you connect your hardware equipment. Take a look at the diagram. It says high voltage side at AB and low voltage side at CD. This means that you can connect a DC voltage source at both ends as long as the high voltage and low voltage source are at their specific place. Also, before starting the application, be sure to set the duty cycle to a value corresponding to both sources. For example, a high voltage source of 100 volts with a low voltage source of 50 volts will require a duty cycle of about 75% upon start. Current can flow in both directions and voltage at the low side can be negative depending on the duty cycle value. Be sure to check the current value upon start to prevent damage to a source. In this demonstration, I'll use a source of 100 volts at AB and of 50 volts at CD to demonstrate the four quadrant operation by reversing the battery connection. When your equipment is correctly connected and your settings done, start the application. The yellow and blue curves are the high and low voltage source, respectively. The purple and red curves here are the PWM signal of Q1 and Q2. And finally, the green curve is the current in the line here. To obtain an operation point in the first quadrant, I simply increase the duty cycle to 80%. The current here is positive, and the low voltage is positive too. If I want an operation point in the second quadrant, I decrease the duty cycle slowly to 70%. Current here is negative, but the output voltage is still positive. Now I stop the function, then reverse the connection of the low voltage source to obtain a negative output voltage of minus 50 volts. Then I set the duty cycle value to 25% in order to have a current near zero at start. Once the function is back on, to obtain an operation point in the third quadrant, I need to decrease the duty cycle near 20%. As expected, the current is negative, as is the output voltage. Finally, to obtain an operation point in the fourth quadrant, I increase the duty cycle around 30%. As you see, the current is positive, but the output voltage is still negative. This is how the four quadrant chopper works. Be sure when using two sources to check your duty cycle value before starting this chopper to prevent high current from damaging your equipment. Have fun.